In this video, we are going to be discussing how to recover a Chromebook operating system. The folks over at uh, Google, they have created a plugin for your Chrome browser. It's called the uh, Chromebook Recovery Utility. But personally, I have had mixed uh, success with that utility mostly because it's either having a hard time downloading the operating system or the plugin for whatever reason gets blocked by either uh, a Chrome uh, a Chrome browser policy or an extension for example if you're using malware bytes or something of that sort it may block the uh, successful use of the uh, Chromebook Utility. So we're going to discuss the Chromebook uh, Recovery Utility first, um, and then we'll go into other options uh, as far as how to uh, recover your Chrome OS. So the Chromebook uh, uh, Recovery Utility, as I had mentioned earlier, is a plugin. If you go to the Chromebook store, or rather the Chrome store, you can... Um, you can search for the Chromebook Recovery Utility and you could add it as a plugin. And if you look at my browser here, you'll see that there is a recovery extension tool and that is the Chromebook Recovery Utility. So I'm gonna bring it up, I already have it up. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, bring it up on my window. <clears throat> so uh, this is the interface for the Chromebook Recovery Utility. I want to point out one thing that uh, gets often overlooked, but up here you'll see you have uh, some options. So you have erase recovery media, use local image, and, and send feedback. Okay, so one of the problems I, I come across or I have seen online is people saying that the image, when they try to download the image, it uh, it never completes or it fails and so we're going to look at how to resolve that issue and we are also just going to go through this process here okay so let's go ahead and hit the get started at the bottom here all right so you're gonna search for your model here so let's say I'm looking for a HP uh, Chromebook <clears throat> uh, 11 G9 EE and as you can see it's already bulking at the at that so we're just gonna look at the model list here and we're gonna just choose HP and then we're gonna choose the product that we want so 11 G9 EE and then we're gonna hit continue alright so now it's gonna ask me for a uh, USB and so let me grab a USB to get started and I'm just gonna plug that in <clears throat> all right so I have it plugged in and it should take a moment here all right so there's my uh, sand disk I believe most of the operating systems that you're going to come across require at least eight gigabytes so you want to go larger okay so I chose my thumb drive and then I'm going to hit continue and then what it's going to do is it's going to try to uh, download the image and then it's going to try to write the image to uh, your uh, thumb drive so you always want to choose uh, long-term support that is my experience it's just a more stable channel so that's going to give you the most current <coughs> operating system for your Chromebook okay so we're going to hit create now and it's going to uh, start downloading the content now this is where people experience issues uh, downloading the operating system and so we're gonna stop it here 
and I'm going to show you how if you wish to use this operating if you wish to use the Chromebook recovery utility how to download the Chromebook operating system and then using the Chromebook recovery utility to uh, create your thumb drive alright so we're gonna just cancel that here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to <clears throat> your Chrome browser and we're gonna type in Chrome dash Chrome OS alright and then we're gonna hit enter and that's gonna take us to our search results and we're gonna go to the very first one Chrome OS and this is the repository for all the chromium operating systems uh, that you'll be able to download okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in the uh, your model that you're looking for so I'm gonna put in HP and as you can see I got HP Chromebook uh, 11 G 9 uh, EE so that's what I'm looking for and then if we scroll over you'll see that there's different versions so <clears throat> I have uh, worked with a Google support in the past uh, they don't suggest uh, taking the highest version because uh, it may error out uh, I haven't had that experience personally uh, so I'm just gonna choose the highest version usually this is uh, it's it's potentially a version lower already than your what you already have installed anyway so uh, once you install it on your uh, Chrome device then you'll have to apply updates on the device itself once you uh, install the operating system but it's up to you. You could choose, in this case, for the 11 G9 EE. I could go as low as uh, the operating system of uh, 107, or I could go as high as 115. So I'm going to just choose 115. All right, so uh, that will start downloading for me. So we're going to give it a moment here. So it's asking me to save it. Okay, so um, I'm just going to cancel that window because I already have... Um, the operating uh, system downloaded and I'll show you what um, what it has downloaded if you'll give me a moment here alright so I'm gonna just minimize this <clears throat> alright and so this is the operating system that was downloaded it's in a zip file now uh, we're going to go back to our uh, Chromebook recovery utility and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over okay so I'm going to get started and then here I'm going to go up to the cog and I'm going to say use the local image okay because we downloaded the operating system so now I'm going to point it to that zip file and do not uh, do not unarchive or decompress that zip file you're going to use it as is okay so I'm going to uh, select that zip file <clears throat> all right so I'm going to select that zip file as is and all right so I selected that zip file and now it's asking me for my um, thumb drive again and now I'm gonna create okay so now <clears throat> the uh, operating system is gonna uh, that it's going to use is the one at the very top as you can see it says Chrome OS uh, 15474 etc etc that's the operating system that it's going to attempt to uh, place on your thumb drive so this is one of the issues that some people have is is simply just downloading the operating system uh, using the Chromebook recovery utility okay so the second one which I come in, into uh, across quite often is it simply just stalls out while it's trying to uh, write to the thumb drive or it doesn't write at all and I think this is more of a issue with um, 
the browser security settings or extensions that you have on your browser preventing it from taking place so if if this works for you at this point awesome so you're gonna write it to the thumb drive and then you are simply gonna plug it into your thumb drive into your uh, Chrome Chromebook you're gonna turn it on and the um, Chromebook is going to look at that thumb drive and it's gonna launch recovery mode okay so let's just say this is not working for you at all so then we are going to just void out we're going to just forget about using the Chromebook uh, recovery utility altogether and so what we're going to do is we're going to just close this out and we're going to once again the first step is we need to download our operating system so again we're going to go to the chromium dash website you're going to search for your uh, preferred operating system obviously it has to be compatible with your uh, with your um, hardware or else it's not going to work okay so we are going to download that operating system and okay so I've downloaded the uh, operating system already so as you can see here's my operating system right so there's a slight difference in the way we're going to do it we're since we're not going to use the Chromebook recovery utility we need to take this zip file and we're going to uh, expand it okay so we're going to extract the content that's inside of it so we're going to uh, unzip and we're going to just unzip it to uh, the folder and so uh, as you can see it's unzipping it <clears throat> and it should create a new folder here which it I'll move it over here and so I'm gonna just pause it for a second while it's completing its download uh, or ex its extraction and we'll come back all right we've completed the extraction so now uh, here is my extracted content uh, and if we look inside here real quick all right if you look inside here real quick you'll see that there is a, a bin file okay so that is the bin file that we need and so we're gonna just close out that window and the next thing we need to do is we need to download an application called Rufus okay so we're gonna go back to Google <clears throat> and we're gonna search for Rufus All right, Rufus. And at the very top, you see Rufus create bootable USB drive the easy way. And it is the easiest way, it really is. All right, so there's a preview of what the application looks like. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there's basically uh, two different or three different versions. You have an ARM version. If you have ARM, you have an 86 version. Then at the top here, you have the latest version which is your installate installation version which is 4.2 and this is a portable version which is 4.2 P for P for portable so I've already downloaded this application but uh, download whatever is suitable for you portable version works fine as well if you're uh, if you're so inclined so let's um, <clears throat> run that application so I have it right here All right, so I've launched the app, <clears throat> and at the very top, you'll see this is the thumb drive that I plan on using to create uh, to to create the uh, Chrome OS on or the recovery on. Okay, <clears throat> so the next thing we want to do is we want to go over to select. And once we uh, click on select, we're going to uh, select the folder that we uh, unzipped or decompressed. We're going to select this one here. Now, as you can see, there is nothing in the folder, right? And that's because it's, this application is looking for certain file types. So we want to 
choose view all files here. Okay, so we'll give that a second here. Okay, so we're going to select that file and we are going to open. And it'll take a moment, but what you'll see is that the um, the application will start filling in the partition scheme, the target system, the uh, file system type, uh, etc., so that it is uh, that it so that it works or it's compatible with the Chrome uh, OS. Okay, it took a, a moment or two, but as you can see, the partition scheme has changed to MBR, the target system is BIOS, file system FAT32, etc. So now we're going to hit start, and it's going to go through the process of formatting your thumb drive and then adding the recovery Chrome OS to your thumb drive. So once this is complete, you simply need to plug in the thumb drive into your Chromebook, power it on, and it should automatically boot into the recovery uh, cycle. In any case, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this is uh, valuable and uh, you, f you found it as a good alternative to using the Chromebook recovery utility. Until next time, see ya.